Hey there, viewers. Have you ever read on the toilet? Reading while in the bathroom is a pretty common habit, whether it's the form of a book or an article on your smartphone. We're sometimes so fixated on what we're reading, we're still sitting long after we've done our business. UFOs where? The Kardashians did what? I need to know more about that. But believe it or not, reading on the toilet has negative impacts. Let's talk about that in today's video. Does it expose me to more germs? How much time do I waste? Wait, can I actually get hemorrhoids? We're talking all that and more. Number one, you can get hemorrhoids. Yes, we're coming out swinging, folks. Reading on the toilet can invite hemorrhoids. These are swollen veins in the lowest part of your rectum and anus. The walls of your blood vessels become so thin that the veins begin to bulge. This makes it very difficult to go to the bathroom. Hemorrhoids can happen by putting pressure on your rectum. This pressure is often brought on by too much sitting. Hemorrhoids are usually followed by something known as rectal prolapse. This is when your rectum begins to fall out of place. Ouch! This condition requires treatment ASAP, otherwise it can get pretty gruesome. To avoid hemorrhoids, don't sit any longer than 15 minutes on the toilet. This is what most experts would recommend. This translates to less time on the phone texting. You can do plenty of that while standing up. What's the longest you've ever spent on the toilet? Did it result in you missing anything important? Share your funny story in the comment section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number two, your phone will distract you. That question I just asked is actually a good way to start this next entry. Reading on the toilet can draw your attention away from important tasks. We walk into the bathroom intending on being in and out. The next thing we know, we've spent that last 25 minutes reading about alien humanoids working at an ice cream parlor. Your phone is such a huge distraction from life already. Scrolling down your screen while using the toilet is too much for your brain to handle. No one deserves to be that comfortable. Being on your phone will only increase your stress levels. If you're already on edge, a 20-minute stint on your phone will only make it worse. Research has found that smartphone use is associated with symptoms of anxiety and depression. Various studies have looked at the effects of what happens when you give a person a smartphone. People who spend endless amounts of time on their phone report more stress symptoms than people who don't. This is all the more reason to stop reading on the toilet. If you'd like some light reading while you're doing your stuff, you're best off sticking to a magazine or a newspaper. It will have you more focused on distinct words rather than your phone screen. Number three, it's a huge time waster. Spending time reading on the phone will result in a huge amount of time wasted. Research shows that the average person spends 90 minutes a day on their phone. That tallies up to almost four years of your life. If you're having a stressful day, going to the bathroom could be one of the worst things for you. No, I'm not saying that you should hold it the entire day. That will only make matters worse. What I am saying is that if you do in fact step into the bathroom, try and avoid using your phone. Getting on your device will send you down that digital rabbit hole. Before you know it, a half hour will go by, and your coworkers are scouring the building looking for you. If this type of routine becomes a habit, you might find yourself out of a job. This is why many companies don't allow their employees to use phones during work hours. A study from 2017 showed that employees between the ages of 18 to 34 use up to 70 minutes on their mobile devices during each workday. These are to read their non-work emails, as well as browse social media and entertainment sites that are blocked by company computers. And you can guess where most of this browsing takes place? The bathroom. You think that's bad? Well, there's an even scarier reason to avoid reading on the toilet. Let's get into that. But before we continue, are you having trouble with your eyesight? You need to keep your diet in check. Here's our recent video on 15 foods to boost eye health. Now back to our discussion on why you shouldn't read on the toilet. Number four, germs galore. Bathrooms are hot spots for germs. That's nothing new. I mean, I've used public toilets that were so gross, I walked out regretting not wearing a hazmat suit. But it's not so much the germs we're touching, it's the objects you're transferring them to. Sometimes you're bringing new germs into the bathroom. Phones can be used as a vessel for harmful particles. Think about it. All the things you're touching throughout the day, all the bacteria you're coming in contact with, that's gonna end up on your phone. Here's where going to the bathroom becomes a danger. Those germs can come in contact with your private area while you're wiping. During this process, you'll also touch other germs that sit around the bathroom area. Ever heard of the MRSA superbug? This is something that causes skin and blood infections as well as pneumonia. Research has found that phones can be responsible for spreading MRSA. Wanna hear something even freakier? Other studies have shown that the phones of high school students can also hold E. coli bacteria, and that some devices are technically dirtier than actual toilet seats. Something you can make sure to do every once in a while is clean your phone, not just the screen, but all around the device. 
I don't mean to sound like your mom here, but wash your hands when you're finished your business. This way you won't transfer as many germs onto your phone. Number five, you become addicted. Ever heard of nomophobia before? That's right, nomophobia, that's what it's called. It's an actual condition. It's short for no mobile phone phobia. It happens when you've been away from your phone for too long. In some really severe cases, nomophobia sets in right after you've realized you've forgotten your phone at home. Phone addiction is a real thing. It's as real as food, sex, or drug addiction. Way back in 2014, a study showed that millennials who were away from their phone for a certain period of time were more likely to show symptoms of stress and anxiety. Experts have cited three major symptoms for phone addiction. These are as follows. Fear of leaving your home without your device, fear that you can't send or receive text messages, and finally, fear that you're receiving alerts. These three situations are enough to drive you crazy. So where does the toilet come into all of this? Well, first, it's important to note that phones supply you with a dopamine hit. This is the chemical your brain releases when it feels rewarded. You keep wanting more of it. There are certain social media apps designed to have you coming back over and over again. That's pretty freaky, isn't it? Remember a few minutes ago when I said the average employee spends 70 minutes of their workday on their phone? Well, a huge chunk of that 70 minutes takes place in the bathroom. Sitting on the toilet to read will only fuel your addiction. Doesn't matter if it's an article or a quick email. You're only contributing to your own vice. Not only that, you're also going to feel crappier throughout the day. If you want to use your phone, try disciplining yourself and waiting for your lunch hour. This way you can be on your phone without worrying about your boss catching you. It's also useful to try a special exercise. It's called turn your phone off. It's wild just how free you feel. You can also place it in a safe place where it's out of sight. These are necessary steps to shake off that addiction. And don't worry, turning your phone off doesn't cause you to miss much. If a person is trying to reach you with an important message, they will phone you back. Your bathroom habits often depend on your health, specifically the health of your stomach and digestive system. Have I sparked your interest? Let's continue the conversation with a couple more videos, shall we? Check out eight foods that can really harm your stomach. Or how about 11 ways to clean your gut bacteria? Go ahead, pick one, or better yet, watch both, and learn more about how to improve your bathroom habits. Are you gonna stop reading on the toilet after watching this video? Let us know in the comments below.